hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in ASP.NET Core console application using entity framework core how to insert record into SQL server database now let's check the final output is Vijay Vijay Kumar email, email id is vk at hotmail.com let's enter so here we got a message record saved successfully and check the database All right now in the student object contains 12 rows let's execute this table again it's showing 13 rows the vijay kumar vk at oxmail.com the student id is 13 if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a new ASP.NET Core console application, first we'll check the table and the columns. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. The table name is a student object which contains three columns. Uh, right now, this student table has some rows around 11 records. 11 rows. Now, my aim is I want to insert new records in this student object table using Entity Framework Core in ASP.NET Core console application. So let's start the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new console application .NET Core. I'm selecting that one. Click Next. Let's give the project name is Insert Record Console App SQL Server is my application name. Click Create. And the project is created successfully. Right now in this project there is one dependencies folder and one program.cs file which is this file. Notice when I expand this dependencies folder there is one frameworks folder is there. Now first when we are dealing with particular database we require the DLR libraries of that database. Here I am using SQL Server database so I require the SQL Server Entity Framework Core DLL library so let's install first those DLL library packages into our project I'm selecting the project name right click the mouse and select the manage NetJet package go to browse and search for entity framework from this entity framework I require this one the SQL Microsoft.entity framework code.sql server I have selected that one click install click OK and let's accept the license and notice here the green button is showing and notice the green icon which means this package is installed successfully in now dependencies project folder there is packages folder is added let me expand this package folder see here the microsoft.entity framework code.sql server DLL library is installed after that we require this uh, tools also microsoft.entity framework code tools i have selected that one click install click ok let's accept this license and here also the tools package is installed successfully after installing these two packages let's minimize this dependencies folder and as well as i'm closing this nudget package window which i don't require anymore for this application now We'll add one models folder to create a POCO class. So select the application, right click the mouse, add, click new folder. The folder name is a models. Now in this models folder, we'll add one class, add class. And here the class name is a student class. Enter. And here we got our student class. Now in the student class, I'm defining the properties. So first let's import and let's add the method called key. Notice here when I add key, this package system.componentModel.DataInitials is added automatically. After that let's define the property called integer type student id. The first one is prop double tab string student name and the last property is the email email in our table we have 
three columns. So I have created three table, three properties. After adding the models class, the student class, next we require the DB context class to configure our database connection string. So let's create a new folder. Select the application name, right click the mouse. Let's close this one, right click the mouse. Um, add a new folder. The folder name is data context data context enter now in this data context i'm adding one class called application db context class so select the application data context right click the mouse add class and the class name is application db context enter and here we got our application db context class now first let's import the db context class db context so this db context class is belongs to using uh, microsoft dot entity framework code now we got the db context after that let's import this model class also using uh, my application name my project name dot models folder so I can access this class student class in this db context so here I'm adding the protector protector void override protector override void on configuring on configuring db context options builder options builder now let's add the our sql server connection with the help of options builder dot use sql server this use sql server takes a string parameter which takes a connection string so at the rate double quotes now between these double quotes we'll add our connection string to get the proper connection string of our SQL Server database, notice here the Server Explorer. Open that one. Data connections, right click that one, click Add Connection. The server name is my SQL Server name is this one, Desktop. So let's add that one. Desktop, Desktop, iPhone, P B U D E O N. After adding my server name, I'll get the database names Charan. The table I have created this student object in this Charan database. So I have selected the Charan database, test connection, succeeded, okay, okay. And here the Charan database is added successfully. Notice in the properties, this is the connection string. Copy the data source of that connection string and add between these double quotes semicolon after that we need to add this student class for that i'm adding public public db set and this db set the entities i'm getting from the student class so add the student class here i'm adding my table name my table name is student object copy that one I'm pressing here yeah. so get and set that's it now let's write the logic in program.cs file the console write line insert new employee record record copy this one paste here Let's view the horizontal line. After that, I'm adding a function a static void insert record. Now, insert this insert record. First, I'm writing the logic to insert the records. But before that, let's import the necessary packages using the namespaces insert record emp my application name that models and also i require the data context folder also 
sorry color now after adding this necessary namespaces now switch over to this method first i want to prompt the user to enter the details the student name and email the student id is the auto generate column so here i'm adding the string uh, variables is student name and email colon so after that let's form bit console dot white line white line method enter student name colon let's add this variable student name student name is equals to console dot read line let's copy this one for email id enter email this one email after that now after that we require the connection string with the help of this db context class so let's create using variable con is equals to new application db context class db context colon so let's add the student class student class st is equals to new student class st dot student name is equals to student name dot to string method student dot email is equals to email dot to string method now let's add the record with student con dot add method the con add method and this add method i'm adding student student dot student class object student class object let's save changes method add the save changes method and this function return that's it now let's copy this method and paste it here that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to insert records of run this app and here we got the final output notice the console application prompting with the student name uh, enter the student name is uh, in our table right now we have 11 11 records so here I'm adding Rocky. The student name is the email ID is rock at yahoo.com. Yahoo.com. Enter. That's it. The record has been added successfully. Let's close this one. Now let's execute the student table. Execute. Let's execute the student table. See here we got the 11 is Rocky. We got 11 records. Now let's add another record. Here what I'm doing console dot right line record save successfully. Semicolon. Let's run this app. Let's enter the student name is now. Let's check the final output is vijay vijay kumar email email id is vk at hotmail.com let's enter so here we got a message record saved successfully and check the database All right now in the student object contains 12 rows let's execute this table again it's showing 13 rows the Vijay Kumar vk at hotmail.com the student ID is 13 that's it we have implemented to insert records in ASP.NET Core console application